Hello everyone, this is Fiani. Welcome back to PHL by Fab. So for our first project, you will need a frame. I'm going to be using a uh, this one that I have used on um, Christmas time, as you can see, uh, the twine and also some tape. So then I cut two strings of twine, basically the same size of the frame. I didn't show the part in here. And then I'm just going to be placing it on the tape, as you can see, and repeat the step a couple times. So once I had all the strings on the tape, that's how it looks like and now we're going to cut it in half to have even strips, just like so. So we had the twine basically ready, now we're going to leave it on the side just for a little bit and I'm going to remove the back of the frame as you can see and also the little metal parts on it. So I went ahead and also marked down one of the strips just to know where I'm going to be working on. So i also going to use a towel and a piece of tape as you can see to use it as a holder. So I left some of the tape extra to be able to place the twine on it. So I'm going to be doing that only with the longer pieces. So then I'm going to grab another piece of tape and place it right on top, basically on the beginning, just to keep it in place the strips and to be able to make the design. So here with the smaller pieces I'm going to basically wave in, uh, in between the strips just to create the nice paddle. I don't even know how you call the paddle but uh, it's like a waving, uh, yeah. Once I have complete all the strips, now I'm just going to be removing the dowel and also the tape. So now really careful I'm going to lift the, the design that we just did and place it right on the top of the frame. So next I'm just going to be attaching um, the paddle on the frame using hard glue. Then I flip it over and continue gluing the rest. So then I cut the excess and don't throw away those because we're going to be using it on another project. <laughs> so once I have all the extra pieces cut, now I'm going to be continue gluing the top part. So I stop in here just to show that you can also remove the tape if you prefer. I should not. It uh, didn't bother me because it won't really show on the project. So. Then I just continue uh, gluing the top part. So as you can see, I secure some of the parts first and then fold it down the ones that need to go folded and then the extra I just cut it. So 
so now we have uh, the mat or uh, design on the frame it looks really nice on the front but it looks really messy on the back so i'm going to be covered that using this cute ribbon that i got uh, from burlapfabric.com so that will better nice finished look to the back of the frame So now we have a nice and clean look. At this point, you can also add a piece of burlap on the back and it looks nice, but I choose not. I thought it would be enough just like that. So now I'm going to be using more twine and create like a little handle right on the top. So I also burn it a little bit and at this point I think it looks beautiful as it is. But I thought I want to add something else so I have this little wooden plank, acrylic paint and some stickers. So I went ahead and just painted a little bit using a baby wipes. And then I let it dry and now it's just time to use the stickers and I spell the word home. So and then I thought I think I need more twine in this project and I went ahead and just add more on the edges, right? Why not? <laughs> Let's twine it up and just to give you a more rustic feel on it. And then now I'm just going to be placing it right on the top using high glue and voila there you have it absolutely beautiful now you can decorate it however you like it with any flowers you have in hand i have this one really cute from dollar tree but i also going to be showing with other greenery that i have around the house and just to give you some ideas and i think it came out gorgeous so but i always want to know what do you guys think So for our next project, you will need a base. I'm going to use that one from Dollar Tree, but it doesn't need to be from Dollar Tree. Any base you have around. So I like the shape of this one. So I'm going to start by removing the label right on the bottom. I didn't really worry about the sticky part because now I'm going to be using the twine and basically wrap around into halfway. So once I have the battle part covered with the twine, I just bring back, I mean, once I have the battle part covered with twine, I bring up the twine, the same twine and just wrap around the top part and leave that stream in between because we're going to be covering that with some detail. So I also want to add some of this cute ribbon just to add some different texture to the base. So now I'm going to be using some tacky glue, but you can also use some mash pot and basically cover the entire part that we wrap on the bottle and that will give you really nice texture when it's dry. So then I'm going to be using some leftover burla fabric and something rounded to be able to draw some circles on it. So let's draw some circles. Okay. 
Alright, after I have the little circle cut, now I'm going to be adding some twine around the edges. Just by adding a little bit of hot glue and here and there, and there you have it. Once the circle is done, now we're going to be adding like a little B kind of thing and then just glue the ends and you will have something like that and I'm going to be making a bunch of dust. Alright. Now it's time to arrange a little flower. So I'm going to just put it together first just to know how many petals I will need. And then I went ahead and just hot glue them. Alright, now we have a beautiful flower. So I left one of the circle without gluing and I'm going to place it right on top. So at this point, you can just leave the flower like that and it looks beautiful. But I want a 3D, so I went ahead and add more petals right on the top, just four of them, and then add a little romantic touch and add the little pearl. Burlap and twine and petals, I don't know, but to me, they always look great <laughs> and now it's just time to place it on the base add hot glue place it on it right on the bottle and look how gorgeous so now with the leftover petals i'm going to basically cover the string that we left in between and look at that i just love how this base turned out i think it came out beautiful but i always want to know what you guys think please let me know in the comments down below If this is your first time in my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. If you love the content on this place, please consider subscribe and be part of this family. I post videos every week, every Thursday. So if it's that interests in you, please stick around. Our next project, I'm going to be making a cute little tray. If you've been following me, you know that I really love to make trays. <laughs> I have a dedicated video only with trays in case you missed it and you want to go check it out I will leave the link in here on the description box okay so the items for this uh, box is going to be Dollar Tree items and also some recycled uh, jars and some recycled hot sauce cups you hear that <laughs> oh okay so let's remove uh, the inside of the frames and also the some of the wires on it no wires uh the little metal things on it <laughs> to hold the inside right the inside has the little letters on it so i removed it and then i just paint it with the black acrylic paint so and then i just go on to place the back just like so super quick and easy and now is the foam part coming so we're going to put together those frames one on top of each other as you can see it using hot glue but you can also use wood glue i thought it wasn't necessary because i'm going to be adding other things on, on it so it will be adding more reinforcement all right we have the base of the tray now do you remember those 
yeah the let's over from the first DIY so basically I'm going to be using those to cover the entire tray but because I didn't have enough I ended up making more but uh, yeah I didn't show the process again because I didn't want you to get bored <laughs> all right so I'm going to be covering the entire tray with those let's over So once I had the tray covered with the tray, I basically repeat the same step I, that I did with the jar. Um, add the tacky all over. And I also going to add some of this ribbon around the entire tray. Alright, so I went over with the ribbon only in the top part for now. I also going to be using some let's over braids that I have from previous DIYs. So all I did was just use six strings of twine and basically uh, braid it. <laughs> Alright, so I have some of those let's over so I went ahead and just just place it right on the edges on top of the tray just to add more details on it and more texture to the tray so i also going to be adding two little handles and also the little feet I think this little tray looks so beautiful already so for the final touch we're going to be using the little jars and all I'm going to be doing with them is just adding a little bit of the same ribbon right on the top as you can see and then just add some little flowers uh, or some greenery whatever you have around and voila there you have it I think this little tray I think this project came out absolutely beautiful but i always want to know what you guys think please let me know in the comments down below
twine as the main item so here i'm showing two different kinds scissor twine and jute twine so for this project i also going to be using some dowels big dowels from walmart some charger plates from dollar tree and some recycle hat sauce caps also bamboo skewers and some leftover foam now i'm going to use the coaster to trace it down to little circles and then use the side cutter to cut them so once i had the circle cut i'm going to be saving one for later on and other one i just going to use some hot glue and place it right on the middle of the charger plate now i'm going to be placing the skewers on the circle that we just glue on the plate so that just pocket on it and there you have it all right i'm going to continue Continue doing that and at the same time adding that's a hard glue to keep it in place so once I was did the first row I cut the excess and then the extra I just place it in between the spaces and I ended up with something like that now I'm going to be using the twine and basically fill it up the entire circle now that we have the center complete we're going to start to waving the twine on the skewers so here i'm just going to do a closer view so you can see what i'm doing so i'm leaving one skewer in between and just and then just keep repeating the same step all right once you have some amount of waving like that now we're going to add more twine so now we're going to be changing waving so it's kind of hard to explain this step so i'm going to let the video explain it for me And look how beautiful that looks already so now i'm going to be adding more twine but this time thicker twine and we're going to be changing waving as well so once i have done like six round until i complete the gap in between the uh, plate now i'm just going to be wrapping around normal until i complete the entire plate as you can see all right i know this project looks like a lot of work but I, yes it does take a lot of time but I, I promise you the results are amazing this project came out absolutely beautiful i just can't wait to share with you the rest all right once i have finished the entire plate you can see that we still have the gap but the idea was to cover the bottle so won't show so much the color of the plate you can also spray paint it before so now i'm going to use the silicone mat to make little circles so as you can see i place the hot glue and i start to twisting around until i got the circles that i want so i made a bunch of those now i'm just going to be adding some hot glue and place it around where we had the gap and look at that i think it looks beautiful already so we're going to leave leave that plate on the side for a little bit and we're going to start wrapping around more twine on the silicone mat to start to cover the other charger plate so with this one i'm basically going to wrap around the entire plate just like so right when i went to the other side of the plate i just going to be using some burlap fabric and place it on so i just use leftovers and i just cut it now i'm just going to be add some hot glue and voila all right i like to have a nice finished look so i'm going to be using more twine to cover the edges and there you have next i just going to be using the lighter just to burn those little fussy things on the twine i just love the color that lighter give them and also love the smell look how beautiful so now with one of the plates i'm going to be using that specific tool and i'm going to be making some holes on it but uh, you can also use the pointy bar of the glue gun to, to do this process 
all right we're going to leave that plate on the side for a little bit and i'm going to use the big dowels and basically what i'm going to be doing in here is wrapping around with twine so i will be doing that with four of them all right we have all the pieces ready to go so as you can see what i'm going to be doing in here is like a little table or a little two-tier tray so yeah but before i start to attaching all the pieces together i'm going to be placing those wooden cups as a feet So next I'm just going to be adding some hot glue in each towel and place it on it and then I'm going to reforce them using another piece of twine and place it through the holes that we did and wrapping around a couple times and make double knots. So next, I'm going to be attaching all the ends of the dowels together. So next, to be able to create a flat surface on the top, I add a little cube and then a pieces of popsicle sticks that I have around. So then I'm just going to be cutting the excess of the twine and also adding more hot glue around just to make sure that that little table don't go anywhere. So once I was ready to place the top part, I went ahead and add a lot of hot glue and place it on it. But you can also use E6000 or all the kind of glue. And that is it for this one. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. But I always want to know what you guys think. next project you will need a cardboard box any box you have around so some twine and now I'm just going to be trace it down and mark it down where I'm going to cut so once I had it ready to cut I use the box cut it. 
So we're going to use the bottle part of the box. I'm going to bring back the twine and I'm basically going to cut long strings. The length of the strings will be depending of the size of your box. So here I'm basically double size uh, depending on my box. So once I had all the strings cut, now I'm going to be placing on the bottom of the box. So now we basically have the base of the basket. So I'm going to be using a different twine, a little bit thicker, to start whipping. So I choose this paddle. Uh, I thought it was really cute to do. I think for beginners like me, this one is easier. So I will continue to doing that into halfway of the box. Then carefully I'm going to flip the box to be able to remove the box of the basket. So once I have removed the cardboard box, we go going to tie the let's sever the strings so what i'm going to be doing in here is just simple knots to just try to keep the basket together as you can see it's flimsy because we don't have any bags anymore so i'm going to keep all those strings together just by making simple knots all around just like so so now i can work better with the rest of the strings so as you can see i grab both sizes and make like little ponytails to be able to work better with now with the tails that i just did I'm going to be creating a handle so I add a piece of twine just to keep it in place and then little by little I'm going to start wrapping around the entire handle with the thicker twine we have a handle now but i will still have a lot of lets over the strings so with those strings i'm going to be making a cute little tassels just like so start to look like a basket right so now i'm going to be covering the inside of the little basket using some borla fabric from borla fabric .com. I will have all the links on my description box below in case you are interested. So as I said, I'm going to be cutting a couple pieces and I'm going to start just covering the edges of the basket first and then cut an extra piece to cover the bottle part. So the little basket is covered inside but it still look messy on the bottle. So I'm going to cover the entire bottle using twine. And at this point I think the basket looks cute already but I still have little details to cover. So I went over and grab a needle and start to sew in the edges just to have better finished look and not be worried about some strings poking out and I also went back with the handle and add more twine around just to make the handle a little bit sturdy and for the final touch I decide to make the little tassels more fussy so I opened the strings and then went over with a little brush and voila there you have it and that is it for this one I just add a little greenery and a little candle on it like a lead candle and I think it looks so cute I just love it I love baskets in general I have baskets all over the house for organizing for decorations for everything <laughs> so let me know what you guys think
Before to move on to the next DIY, I want to thank you all for your continuous support and love to my channel. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. So the next project, I'm going to be recycle some items that I have around the house. Some little lights and a little canvas. So for this project, I'm going to be using the thicker twine. So I'm going to wrap the entire little frame. So I like to start by adding a little bit of hot glue on the bottom part first and then just continue wrapping around and just adding that of hot glue here and there just to keep the twine straight. So we had the frame cover the edges and also uh, the inside part too. But at the bottom part of the frame it still needs some help. So I'm going to be using some leftover burla fabric and then on top I'm going to be placing another piece of fabric just to have better finished look and cover the paint on it. Then I'm going to be adding some ribbon also from burlap fabric and place it on the edges to have better finished look. So now we have the base of the lantern as you can see and now I'm going to be wrapping around those Easter basket handles with the twine. You can see I wrap one of them with a different twine only because I want to have a different contrast on the lantern so I use the sisal twine for one stripe. Alright so once I was ready with the stripes I also add some ribbon right on the bottom just to have better finished look and also match with the frame. As I was ready with the stripes I went ahead and just placed it on the frame. And we almost done in here with the lantern I just going to be adding more twine on the top just for reinforcement. And that is it for the lantern. So now we're going to leave it on the side just for a little bit. And we're going to be working with the inside part. So with the little recycle jar and the little lines. With the little recycle jar, I'm just going to be adding the fairy lights inside. And then... Basically, what I'm going to be doing in here is trying to cover the battery uh, pack or battery holder. So I'm going to start first just mark it down how high is the battery pack just by adding a little piece of ribbon. Then I'm going to be using the sisal uh, twine to match with my lantern and just wrap around the bottom part of the jar just like so. And then I'm just going to be adding more ribbon right on the bottom just to add more details. And, and for the final touch, a little bow right on the top. And voila! So that is it for this one. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. And nobody would know that that lantern was made of recycling items.
and that is it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also don't forget to go and check it out the playlist and get tons of inspirations god bless you all and see you guys next time ciao ciao I will use five medium canvas from Dollar Tree, some twine, and also some wooden stick. So I'm going to start by removing the plastic and also the staples on it. So as you can see, I use the knife and then a little plier to remove the staples. So once I was done with that, that's how it looks like. And now I'm going to be doing the same with the rest of the canvases. So now we have the frames ready to add the stain on it. So let's do that. Alright. Once the stain was dry, the frames are ready to go. And look how cute those looks are ready. I just love it. They're not too dark and not too light. Just perfect. <laughs> so now it's time to attach all the pieces together using wood glue and hard glue. So 
basically we're going to be making here the base of the basket so we making here a little box or yeah the shape of a lantern so the only difference that I'm doing here is two of the frames on the sizes I'm placing very cool so like that I will have a different levels of frames so like that the largest pieces is going to simulate the handles of the basket all right, you will see that in a little bit. So here I'm just keep adding more glue to attach all the pieces together. So now we have the base of the basket and we're going to use the main item. Let's twine it up. So here I'm showing that I cut a long string of twine, double string. So to be able to keep the loop, so that loop will help me to keep um, the string on the frame just like that all right so i'm basically going to continue doing that with the rest of the frame so now we have all the strings on the frame so here is the foam part and i'm going to try my best to explain so i'm going to be leaving one string on the side and then grab the next two strings make a loop in my finger and tie a knot and i will continue doing that with the rest of the strings now for the second line i'm going to start with the first string that we left from the beginning and then grab the second string and repeat the same step and keep going until you finish the entire the strings And you will end it up with something like that. I think it looks beautiful already. So now we have to attach it on the other part on the other part of the frame, just by put it through the frame, and then add a little bit of hot glue, and then wrap around one or two times, and then bring back the strings to the inside part and make a double knot. I also going to be adding a little bit of hot glue before I tie the first knot as you can see. So like that the knot will keep in place. So now I'm just going to be making another knot. Tie it and then cut excess. So I will continue doing that with the rest of the strings. absolutely beautiful i just love it so now i'm going to do the same process with the rest of the box except the battle part the battle part we're going to do something different so i have all the little nets ready now i'm just going to be attached on the barrel so i just stop in here just to show you how it looks like and also they can you personalize however you like it using a uh, placing on different direction the battle part of the net but i went for the flat or a straight look and i think it looks gorgeous already so now we're going to be working with the bottom part of the basket so here i just flip it over i grab it another long string of twine and make it really tight knot so now i'm going to be doing the figure eight part and so i cover the entire bottom part And you will end it up with something like that. I think it looks so cute. So now for the final uh, string, I just add some of the hot glue on the bottle. And then the rest of the string, I put it inside and make a double knot. And voila. Now, at this point, this basket looks almost complete. And you can just leave it as it. But uh, after I burned the little fussy things, I went ahead and add more twine around the top part just to reinforce the frames. And like that, it's going to be more sturdy and 
not to be worried about the canvas fall apart so yeah I did that in both sides and I think now is perfect I think it came out absolutely beautiful you can use this basket as a decoration with a little blanket on it or a little pillow just to decorate at home or just for organizing like on the bathroom you can put some magazine on it or even toilet paper and I think it will look really nice on top of the toilet so when I'm here I'm just showing and that I placed the envelopes you can also do that just organize your mail and it looks really nice so endless ideas or just add some greenery on top and it looks gorgeous so I really hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you guys think Alright, for our next DIY, here are the materials, twine, zip ties, and also I'm going to use one of the circles of the garden uh, thing that I found on Dollar Tree. I think it's for tomatoes, right? I don't know, even know the name for that, but yeah, one of those. So I'm going to use the larger circle, and then I'm going to grab another circle from a small reef that I have around to be able to have the same size but I also I want one a little bit softer to manage better with the twine all right so now I'm just going to remove the circle so once I had the circle removed now I'm going to just wrapping around with twine just like so So now we have the ring wrapped, now I'm going to use the zip ties. So here I'm going to be making the loops just like so. Just put it together as you can see and I'm going to be doing that with the rest of the zip ties. Once I have all the zip ties made as a loop, now I'm going to be using the twine and basically I'm going to be wrapping around each one of them. So the easy way is just add some hot glue right on the top and then just keep wrapping around until you finish all of it. This uh, can take some time but uh, what I normally do is just bring my projects to the backyard, uh, bring the boys outside so they can play around and then I just can sit and do my twine. <laughs> So once I had all the zip ties tied, now I'm just going to be cutting the excess. I didn't cut that at the beginning just to be able to have something to hold it. So now we have the pieces wrapped with twine and it's time to place them together or attach them together. So I'm going to be using twine but at first I'm going to be making a cute design inside of the ring so with the rounded part of the little hoops I'm going to be placing right in the ring just like so so to make it easy or have an even part of I place force first uh, facing uh, together and like that I will have I will be just eyeballing the space in between and just filling with the rest of the loops just like so. So now we have this beautiful design and then I realized that I need something round on the middle. So I went ahead and grabbed a curtain ring and wrap it with twine. Now I'm just going to place it on the center and attach them using hot glue.
all right so next step i'm going to be cutting another piece of twine to be able to reinforce the little loop and the ring together So now we have a really nice and sturdy uh, tray. So I also place more loops facing up on top of the ring. So I didn't know why I didn't show that part in here. I probably missed that little clip. <laughs> Alright, so do you remember the second ring? So I went ahead and also... So now it's just time to attach the second ring on the tray. So to make it easy, I just grab the... <laughs> tray and face it down so like that I will have better precision where I'm going to add the hat glue Look how beautiful this little tray looks already. The tray is almost complete, but as you can see, the top part is still flimsy and not secure. So I'm going to add more twine in between the each hoop and the ring. So wrapping around a couple times and that definitely made the little tray firm and sturdy. And that is it for this one. I think this little tray came out absolutely beautiful. You can decorate it however you like it or you can just have it by yourself and I think it looks gorgeous. So, but I always want to know what you guys think. All right, for the next DIY, you will need a glass base, any base you have around. This is from Dollar Tree, and I love it. Also, to let sober off the little hoops that we use for the tray. So I'm going to remove the label on it, as you can see, using my heat gun. I didn't really worry about remove the sticky part on it because I will cover that using twine. I'm just making a little circle to be able to start wrapping around the bottom part of the base and then I will continue into halfway. So we have the base wrapped with twine on the bottom part and I will continue adding more twine but before that I will add the let sewed loops that we had and place it in each size to simulate a handle. So I add a hot glue and place it on it. Then I will continue wrapping around even on top of each handle or little loops. Like that, those handles won't move and won't go anywhere. <laughs> and look how beautiful, simply beautiful. So now 
at this point you can just leave it like that but i like to cover details so here as you can see you can still see the bottom part of the loop so i grab few pieces of twine and place it all together by adding a little bit of hot glue right on the top and then wrapping around other piece of twine just to create like a flat surface on the end so next i will be using that to cover the gap that we have on the handles so i add a little bit of hot glue right where we finish the wrapping part so place it on it so like that will looks like it's inside and then i will continue adding more hot glue and place it straight down just like so and that is it for this one i just love the simplicity of this project but i think it came out absolutely beautiful and high end i just love it i just play a regular candle on it and i just love it in a little tray you can also add little candle or fairy lights and it looks gorgeous so let me know what you guys think
So here I'm just showing two kind of uh, signs of twine. One is thicker and the other one is thinner. So I'm going to be using both in this project. Also a Dollar Tree hard, wooden hard and sand stain. So first I'm going to remove the tag and also the hanger part. Just like so. So I got some stain by Rustolia on Amazon and I really like this color. If you are interested, I will leave the link on my description box. So I just did a quick and light coat as you can see on the heart. And now it's time to use our main item which is the twine. So I'm going to add some twine on the top part of the heart as I'm showing in here. So just add a little hot glue be able to keep it in place and then another dot on the other side or on the other end as you can see so then uh, I would just wrapping around a couple times I think I did like 10 or 12 times once I was happy with the first part I went ahead and add some hot glue to keep it in place now with the second row I just going to leave some space in between and then just bring down the twine and start again wrapping around a couple times and keep going like that like three or four times as I'm showing in here So uh, this part I stop it just to be able to share with you that this part can be a little bit tricky. So I would recommend to use a hot glue in both sides and at the same time you're wrapping around the twine so like that the twine will not falling apart and you will not struggle with that. So once I was happy with the wrapping part, I went ahead and used the lighter and just burned the twine because I really like to do that. I like the smell and I like the color as well. Alright, with the second twine that I showed at the beginning that was a little bit thinner, I'm going to be making a braid. So I basically cut six long pieces a small piece uh, to be able to tie it on the top part as you can see just by making double knot now i'm going to be using a piece of tape and just put it on my table to be able to make the braid just like so So as you can see, I ended up with a long braid. So now I'm going to be placing it around the heart by using high glue, as you can see. I think at this part, the heart look absolutely beautiful but i'm going to be keep adding some details to make it look even beautiful so i have some pearls gem from dollar tree and i'm going to be adding only on the string that we left in between the wrapping part once i was done with that i'm going to be making a little flower but in here i'm showing a little piece of wood that i got on one of the value packets from dollar tree so so we're going to need that little piece of wood but before that i'm going to be making some loops with twine as you can see just, just simple loop just by adding a little bit of hot glue cut it and voila so i made two different sizes i didn't really measure it i just eyeballing so this is optional and then I just stain it a little bit the piece of wood and now it's time to make a little flower just by adding a little dots of hot glue and place the little loops on the center as you can see of the little piece of wood. Once you have done the first row with the largest loops, now I'm going to be repeating the same step with the smaller loops on the top. Mm -hmm. 
so you will end it up with 3d little flower and look how beautiful at this point you can use it uh, just by flip it over and you have the circle already but uh, I'm showing it here that you can use it both way so I went ahead and add a little heart and then I just add some gems around the little heart just to give you more details the little flower is ready and look how adorable now I'm just going to be placed it on the top of the heart but I also add some greeneries that I have around just to give you more dimension to our heart. So add some hot glue, place it on it and voila! Look how beautiful! I just love how this turned out. And for the final touch all I'm going to be doing is adding a hanger part just by adding a small braid on the top and voila add some haggle place it on it and there you have it i think this project came out absolutely beautiful but i always want to know what you guys think so that's it for this one so let me know in the comments down below what do you think If it is your first time in my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. We can see the hours on the budget are my favorite. If if it interested you, I would love to you considering stick around for more DIYs just by clicking the subscribe button, also the bell, and you will get notified every time I upload a new video and you won't miss anything. So let's keep crafting. So for our next project, this one is so quick and easy, but I promise you, you will love it. Four dowels you will need, 12 inches long, I believe, and some twine. So I'm going to be wrapping around the dowels. So here I just show an easy way that I do, uh, or I find out to be able to have the twine in place and not uh, falling apart. So add a dot of hot glue right on the top and then just bring back the string on the bottom part and then start wrapping around from there. Alright, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so next I'm just going to be doing the same thing with the rest of the dowels. Once I had all the dowels wrapped, I went ahead and used the lighter. As I mentioned before, I really love to do that. So next, I'm just going to be placing all the dowels and create a frame. Once I had the frame ready, I went ahead and tied each corner with twine as you can see just making a cross and make a double knot all right at this point you can just add some hot glue if you prefer and then wrapping around to make it easy so now it's time to add some twine on the center so i flip it over and just add some hot glue on the corner to be able to wrapping around but you can just easily make a double knot and it would be basically the same thing so i did that over and over until i complete the entire frame so then i just add a little bit of hot glue on the end and voila and like I say, lighter is always my favorite thing to do with twine. So I went ahead and burned it a little bit. So here I'm just showing some ideas. You can use it as a um, picture frame or yeah, or just put some notes on it or things like that with a little cloud spin. And I think it will look so pretty. You can also add a little reef on it and I think it will look so cute as well. 
But on this occasion, I want to make something for Valentine's, so I'm going to be using one of those plastic hearts and I'm going to be removing the material cam on it. I think it's called garland, I'm not sure. Alright, so then I'm going to be cutting the pointy things, the spiky things, okay, those little things with the scissors as you can see. So next I'm going to be adding some white chalk paint and just give it one light coat, just like so. So now I'm going to be adding some gems all over the heart, just to give you some delicate and romantic look. Oh my goodness, I just love how high end and pretty this uh, hearts look with the gems on it. So I'm going to be adding some of this cute ribbon that I got on Dollar Tree and I'm going to hang it on the frame. As you can see, just by adding a little bit of hot glue, place it on it and voila! And for the final touch, I'm going to be making a cute simple bow with twine as you can see and then I'm just going to place it right on top with a little bit of hot glue and then I'm just going to be add a little heart, wooden heart uh, and place it right on top of the bow. So here I'm just showing two different sizes so that is just an idea so you decide which one you like better. And basically that is it for this one and I think it came out so adorable. So let me know what you think by leaving your comment down below. So before to move on to the next DIY, I would love to mention that I also have Instagram, Facebook page and also Pinterest. So I would love to interact with you over there as well. So for our last project, I promise you, you will love this one because it's so simple, so quick and so easy but absolutely beautiful. So for this project you will need a glass base, you can recycle a jar, a like tomato sauce, you can recycle a pickle jar or any other jar or just simply use a Dollar Tree basis, a twine and also wooden hearts or any other embellishment that you have around. Alright, this project is so quick and easy, all you have to do is a bunch of loops like I showed you at the beginning with the flower so and then I just going to be placed all around on the bottom part as, as I'm showing it here and I ended up with something like that look how cute this looks already all right now I'm going to be use another piece of twine and I'm going to be wrapping around on the bottom part just to have better finished look and cover the ends of the loops and also the glue, just like so. So after I wrapped the bottle part, I ended up with something like that and I just love the simplicity but I think it looks so beautiful already. Alright, then I'm going to be doing basically the same thing but with large loops. So I'm going to get another piece of twine, put it through the loop that we just did and pull it into the top part of the base cut it and then hot glue them just like so so i will continue making more large loops until i finish the base 
and then I'm going to cut another piece of twine and wrap the top part the same way we did on the bottom part. So like that we have better finished look and even. And at this point, I think this base looks absolutely perfect already. So as I did on the previous DIYs, I went ahead and just used the lighter and burned it a little bit. And for the final touch, I'm going to be using some of those cute wooden hearts and I'm going to be placing right on the top part just to add some details on. So I went ahead and add a little bit of hot glue and place it right on top just by leaving one loop in between empty. And that is it for this one and i also am showing it here that you can also add it on the bottle if you prefer or if you like it but i thought just on the top part it looks pretty already and that is it for this one and i think it came out absolutely beautiful and here are also is some ideas to how you can decorate it just by adding some fairy lights on it and i think it will look absolutely beautiful and also you can use a regular candle and i think it looks so romantic and perfect and but you can also use it as a or use it just as a regular floral base add any flowers any greenery you prefer and that is it and i think it came out absolutely beautiful I'm going to be making a large cross if you haven't been able to find the wire right from Dollar Tree there is a cross here is an idea for you super quick and easy and you will love it so I'm going to start off by cutting the ends of the skewers as you can see I cut it like a two or three inches uh, on two of them and then on the third dowel I cut it on half as well the pointy part and then with the third dowel basically i'm going to be using it to cut the small pieces and i cut four pieces like two inches long so now i'm going to be using rustolian stain and give it really light coat on it just to be able to blend it out with the twine later on so but before that i'm going to be attaching all the pieces together using high glue but you can also use with glue if you prefer so i have all the pieces together as you can see and now i'm going to be creating the cross just by using high glue first just to keep it in place once i had the cross glue it now i'm going to be using some twine and cut it in small pieces to add a little knots and reinforce the skewers yes like so mm -hmm. 
So now we have the shape of our cross and look how cute it looks already. So now I'm going to be using our main iron which is the twine. And basically I'm going to be having fun wrapping around the entire cross. So I start on the bottom so add some of the hot glue just to keep the first uh, strings of the twine on place and keep wrapping around until I finish the entire cross. So here I have the battle part done. Now I'm going to be putting the twine through the dowels on the center and wrap around the entire square inside as you can see and keep going into the top part. So then I'm just going to cut and add a little bit of hot glue and start again with the sizes. So I'm going to be doing individual size just to have better finished looks. So here I'm just repeating the same step just by adding some of the hot glue on the beginning just to keep the twine straight and in place and keep going. So once I had the cross completely wrapped, then I went ahead and used the lighter just to burn those little fussy things and get that really nice color that you get when you burn in the twine. Okay, Dollar Tree carries some cute flowers this year and I got those and I'm going to be removing the white part from the stem for now and then I'm going to be using the greenery part as well. So I went ahead and used high glue and started to add the floral part on the middle of the cross just to add some details on it. So once I was happy with the white little branches on the cross, I went ahead and grabbed the greenery part as well. So I removed it from the stems as you can see and I'm going to be placing it on the cross. But before that, I'm going to add this cute ribbon that I got on Dollar Tree as well and place it on the cross as you can see. So I didn't show it here but I did add a little that I had glued right on the bottle just to keep the ribbon in place and then I just finished it with the greenery on and I think it looks so cute already and I also add another little branches of the white one just to add more detail to the cross and basically that is it for this one I think it came out absolutely beautiful So for my next DIY, here are the materials and everything is from the lottery as well. And that little box, also this little bunny that I have used before on another DIY. So I'm going to start off by removing the little bow that I have placed before, as you can see. And then I'm going to be using the back of the little bunny. So I'm going to use the twine and basically cutting a lot of small pieces as you can see so what I did was just the couple loops just like that to be able to cut it on the same size then I'm going to be using tacky glue to attach the twine on the bunny so I'm going to be grabbing two or three strings at the same time, place it down, and I'm going to continue doing that with the entire head. So once I finish the round part, then I'm going to be working with the ear. So once I have glued all the bottom part of the bunny, that's how it looks like. So before to move on to the ears, I'm going to be trimming down the uh, excess of twine and that's how it looks like and look how nice and clean edges I just love it 
So I'm going to be continue doing that with the rest of the bunny. So once I have covered the ears, then I went ahead and trimmed the rest of the twine as well. And look how cute. I just love it. I think it looks so high end, but of course we need some light as well. So once I was done with that, now I'm just going to be adding a little uh, rose that I have around, like like little flower. And I'm just going to place it right on the top and I think it looks so cute. So now I'm going to leave the little bunny right on the side for a little bit and going to be working with the box. So I'm going to start off by removing the little uh, hanger part on the back and also remove the background just by push it down and slowly and there you have it and also remove the stuff inside of the background so then i just grab the same paper and smooth it out the edges to be able to remove the rest of the glue on it then i'm going to be using the drill and i'm going to be drilling some holes on the board just like so to be exact, I did 12, but that depends on how many lights has your fairy lights. And then I just send it to smooth it out the surface. Next, I'm going to be using the chalk paint in the color chiffon cream and give it good coat on one side and just light coat on the other side. You will see why. <laughs> So once I had that ready, now I'm going to be placing it back on the frame. So here I was showing that I'm going to be using a piece of paper to cover the back. So next I'm going to place back on the frame using wood glue and hot glue at the same time. And that's how it looks the little box or frame. But you can see some of the gaps in between, so I'm going to use some of the twine and place it around the box, as you can see, and we'll cover that and it looks nice. So I cut excess and then I use the lighter just to burn those fussy things. Alright, right on the back of the frame, I'm going to be using the fairy light. So now I'm just going to be adding the little lights in the holes that we did before. But before I'm going to place the little bags right on the bottom using hot glue. So I basically hold the little lights on the hole, add a little bit of hot glue on top. And just hold it for a little bit and keep going with the rest of the lights. And then with the rest of the wire, I basically fold it a little bit and place it right on top of the battery box. Add some high glue, hold it for a little bit, and voila. Now I'm going to be using a piece of paper, and I cut it the same size of the frame. And then I basically here, I just mark it down where I'm going to be cutting to leave the battery box uncovered. And then I'm just going to be using some high glue to attach it on the box. And basically, that is it for the back of the box. And look how nice and clean. Now I'm just going to be placing the little bunny right on the top. And look how cute. Just by using high glue. But you can also use wood glue if you prefer. So I did that, place it on it, and basically that is it for this one. And you have a little lantern or little lamp on it. And look how cute. I just love it. But I always want to know what do you guys think. And for my last DIY, here are the materials, some floral, some twine, some ribbons, some mushroom, and also a balloon. 
So before to start, I'm going to mention it, that this is a messy project. So make sure you work on the floor and don't do what I did. <laughs> so you will see that in a little bit. So I'm going to start by mixing some water in my mud pot and adding some pieces of twine on it. And then I'm just going to be have my balloon ready to go. So once I have the twine ready, I'm going to be just adding a little piece of thing on the bottle just to keep it in place, the first part of the twine, and then just wrapping around the entire balloon. As I mentioned it before, this one was a real mess, so I move on to the next level and I went to the floor. So I make a mess on the floor and then I just hang the little balloon on the ceiling. I have a little hook on it, so it was easy to keep it on. I leave it for the night and then on the morning that's how it looks like. Then I pop the balloon, I take it out and then I'm going to be cutting the front of the balloon. So I'm going to try to make a egg. So I'm going to cut right as you can see on the front as you can see. So I didn't really mark it down, basically I did it eyeballing. So once I was happy with the front part, so now I'm going to be using a cute ribbon from Dollar Tree. And basically I'm going to be going around the edges that we just cut. I'm going to be using a little bit of hot glue and start to place in the ribbon right outside of the edges. Once I did the outside part, now I'm going to be doing the same thing, but the inside part of the egg. Yes, like so. So that's how it looks with both the ribbon and the edge. Now I'm going to be using that wire jute the Dollar Tree carry and I'm going to be basically reinforcing the edges just by waving the wire jute on it. Just like so. And that's how it looks like. At this point, you can just decorate it however you want it. You can just add some lights on it and it will look so pretty. But I want to make some little floral arrangement inside. So I have some silver burla fabric and I also have some styrofoam that I have used before on the previous DIY. So I went ahead and add some of the pieces of the burla inside as you can see. And then I'm going to be placing the styrofoam as well. Now it's time to add the flowers, so Dollar Tree carries some lavenders and some wild flowers as well. So now let's decorate the egg. So I'm going to cut the stems of the flowers just to make it easy to place it in. I'd like to start with the largest flowers first to have better direction where I can place the little ones. So yeah. I went ahead and did that with the larger wire flowers and then the lavender and some of the greenery. So then I just saw it has some spaces in between, so it has some less over burla. And then I just place it on it to cover those spaces. And basically, that is it for this one. All I'm going to be doing after is just making a cute little bow and place it right on top. That was the last minute, though. I thought I want to leave it just by itself, but then I have this cute ribbon so i went ahead and make a bow so here i want to apologize because i didn't realize that i had my phone now centered in yeah it's hard to see how i did the bow <laughs> so yeah but what i did was just cut three pieces and make like a simple bow first and then attach all three together and once I have my bow ready, then I just place it right on top using a little piece of the wire jute and place it on top. And basically that is it for this one and I think it came out absolutely beautiful. You can decorate it however you want it using fairy light. You can just add some greenery on top 
any flowers or just by itself and i think it looks gorgeous or even a candle inside it will look so pretty so that is it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also go check it out the playlist and get a lot of inspiration god bless you all and see you guys next time ciao ciao